I keep trying to tell folks to break the shackles, get away from violent crimes that's holding you back. And that's literally the government holding your money hostage, your dollar bills. I don't, and I don't know why people think that, you know, the U.S. dollar is is going to save them, that the U.S. dollar is going to continue to strengthen. And it's not what you think may seem normal the cost of milk, the cost of gas, the cost of bread, all the staples that's in your house, all of the staples that's in your refrigerator going up in value. It's not going up in value. The dollar bill is losing value. So here's my solution. Bitcoin has hit $69,000. Now what's the trend line going forward? Nobody knows because this is it. We're at all time highs. So it can drop, which it did sharply, 8%, but it will go back up sharply. And what I want people to realize is that Bitcoin was made for the people and by the people without government regulation, right? Why do you think there were so many meetings about whether crypto was considered a currency, whether it was tangible. Well, what is this thing, right? And the governments were warning, we're not getting involved in this. We think it's a scam. Warren Buffett said that this is the biggest Ponzi scheme ever made. You wanna know something? He could be right, who knows? But what I do know is, is we give value to anything. We humans give what we think is value to something and right now, Bitcoin has value, tangible value that you can cash out and have in your hand. Whether you're receiving ruple or dollars or the yuan, it could be tangible. So here's what I suggest. Take a look and listen with your ears. My man over there in El Salvador, and listen to what this guy has to say. More difficult to diagnose for instance, the financial situation of the United States. When I talk to my conservative friends right here, they always tell me that the problem is high taxes. But they're wrong. Of course, high taxes are extremely high here in the United States. I, I give you that. You're right in that. But that's not the real problem. The real problem is not the high taxes themselves, but the fact that they are not even really funding the government. Not even those high taxes, higher than a lot of places in the world, not even those taxes are really funding the government. So who's financing the government? Government is financed by treasury bonds. They and who buys the treasury bonds? Mostly the Fed. And how does the Fed buy them? By printing money. But what backing does the Fed have for that money being printed? The Treasury bonds themselves. So basically, you finance the government by printing money out of thin air. Someone could ask, someone could ask, well, so if the government can print the limited amounts of money out of thin air, why did they collect taxes? Now, does this make sense to you? Do you think that the government is pulling the wool over your eye? You be the judge. I'm not saying they are or they, or they aren't. But I do know that the US dollar bill is losing value every single day. We're in trillions of dollars of debt. And you have to make that decision what you're gonna do with your money, how you're gonna spend your money, how you're gonna invest your money. Is it gonna be in Bitcoin? Is it gonna be in, in equities? Are you gonna buy a piece of a company? What are you gonna do? But I tell you what, do not allow your money to sit there in your drawer or under your bed, anticipating and hoping that this money is gonna make you money. It's not, it's going to continue to deteriorate year after year. It's gonna be worth less year after year. 
You have to find ways to invest this money and start making money, not earning money at a nine to five job. Invest your money to start making money. Well, I'm at the gym now. I'm gonna go work out and continue to think about ways on how I'm gonna continue to invest my money. And I suggest you do the same.